Everybody, it's Tyler here at Haunted, checking in on team number 3388A, Angel, coming in from Alberta. I really like this robot overall. We're going to be, of course, going through all the different mechanisms. they got some cool sensors and a really cool uh, path planning program that we're going to be talking about as well, too. Let's learn more about Angel and what this robot has to bring here at Haunted, coming up here on Pips and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Sai, let's start off on your robot here. I know you're really proud of your ratchet system that you have, so I'd love to jump into that. We'll cover some other cool mechanical things also on your bot. Okay, so to start with, uh, we have a two-motor ratchet right here, and the reason we did that this season is because we want really fast match loading, and running at three, we thought that running at 33 RPM wasn't enough. So what we did is we have these two motors ratcheted, which I'll explain in a bit, uh, and then running a ratio of 60 RPM on this catapult. So this ratchet right here, when it spins one way, it slips and it powers the, it powers the intake, right? But then when it spins the other way, it powers the shooter uh, and the catapult. Uh, if you look to the side of our bot, uh, you can see the chain going across our bot. The reason we have this is because because of the ratchet system, both the motors are right here. So an issue we had with this chaining system was that whenever our intake went up, the chain started slipping. To fix that issue, what we have is we have these moving tensioners where when the robot goes up, they go, they go up alongside of it to help you know, maintain the tension in the chain so it doesn't slip. And then we have some stuff with, with sensors right here. I think Gotham would like to talk about those. Yeah, so all the sensors are based on the Basically, the, the goal of the sensors is to basically optimize match loading to be as fast as possible. So if you want to start the code, I'll grab it. So there's two sensors on the robot. One is over here. This is a distance sensor to detect the tri-ball if it gets put in the catapult. And there's one optical sensor right over here that detects it if the tri-ball is in the match load position. So for example, if I put it right here, it'll automatically fire right away. And then the same thing happens over there. When you were analyzing uh, the game, was that something you, like right away you're like, hey, we want to have that automation built into our robot? Yeah, I think there was two things for us. Uh, right away, like we tried this and it worked really well. And another thing is trying to stay on rhythm manually ended up being really hard for us just because sometimes our hands would get hit, sometimes we wouldn't be able to match it, sometimes if our, the tri-ball slipped, uh, it would go everywhere and would cause problems. And the other benefit of it is that for a team, because we only have two of us here, we have another teammate that wasn't able to make it, but because there's only two of us here, uh, other teams that are going to help us match load, it makes it really, really easy for them to also join in and kind of just put it in and automatically works and they don't have to match with that rhythm. So I, I got to ask you as well, too, when you're talking about having uh, the two motors both on the uh, ratchet uh, and the intake area as well, too. Uh, how did you come up with the wanting to do that concept? I know motor limitations, everything like that, so I love the creative solution you come up for that. Where did that come from? Uh, last year in Spin Up, we had a lot of teams actually trying to make a ratchet. So we thought it's Spin Up and like, what did, what did everyone do when they had an intake and a shooter? A lot of people chose to do a ratchet, right? And we didn't want to sacrifice a six-motor drive because we see in games, even, even if you have a really good bot, it really comes down to the driver. So we want to really make sure we have six-motor drive, and we really also wanted a shooter, right? Something we really got to wrap up with, I think, is a really cool thing on your bot is your path planning uh, software that you're doing. So Gotham, uh, talk to me more about uh, how did you come up with that? You were telling me you coded this whole thing in a day, which yeah. I think is just nuts, so by the way. We only had a couple, like a week or so to do our autonomous, which means that we had to find a way to make it as fast as possible. So one of the things we chose to do is we chose to make a path planning software, which is made with HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript. And this was did pretty fast, so it's not the best, but we're still working on it. But the idea is that uh, you can use these points. You can use these points to try to drag them around, uh, and they'd update as you go. Obviously, this is not an actual route, but say you were to go something like this, you can add points as needed. Uh, and then the main thing is that after you do all of this, all of the code is right here, and you can just copy and paste this right into your program. And we can also play an animation. It's not perfect, but it generally gets the job done to get an idea of how the autumn would look. How are you detecting like where you're on the field? Are you using like encoders or odometry or anything like that? Uh, yeah, so on our robot, we've got uh, two main methods currently, right? For forward and backward movement, we just use the motor encoders. And then for turning, we have two uh, inertial sensors here and down here uh, that help us with uh, getting an exact turn, getting a value for the angle that the robot's at. Well, 3388A Angel, uh, loved seeing your robot on the field. Wish you best of luck here at Haunted and of course the rest of these as well. But thanks a lot for taking time to tell us more about your bot. Really appreciate it. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. 
The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.